play more matches, of course, for free has been on ice. We saw these roles get flipped very quickly in February, and we talked about the mental. Yala Bingo, we actually discussed after the tournament, that might be the end of Yala Bingo, because that was a wild crumbling at the end of that. But they bounced back. They assured me, because I reached out to a couple of them, we are good, our mental strong. We missed are we like we took our eye off the prize but we're ready for it today yeah and they look like it too coming from this losers bracket having absolutely amazing games right here got Lou, shelvin zante picking up this espion it's going to be interesting to see what sixies wants to play without that espion because it's been a real power pick sixies locking in this glaceon right now and lunderu on the mew which is very very scary yeah, we're waiting to see where exactly Sereyu elects to go, and that'll drive the conversation for Potato, of course. But uh, unfamiliar, or excuse me, very familiar to us are the bands of Intalion, Crustle, Leafion, and Buzzwell. No real surprises there. Yeah, absolutely. We take a look at for free, their last pick being the speedster, Zorark. Zorark notoriously is pretty great into Mew and great into Glaceon as well. These are Pokemon that can get away from a lot of enemy players, but the amount of distance you can clear with a Pokemon like Zoroark is going to be really tough for these two. Now we're going to have to see how much damage this Dodrio is going to be able to do in such a tanky squad on the side of uh, For Free. They've got the Blastoise, they've got the Slowbro with a perfect Unite move for Dodrio. It does look like to me right now For Free got the better of this draft. But Yala Bingo with a ton of power picks. Yeah, it's going to have to be 60s on the shred, maybe with Ice School Spear, of course. Internals resets are going to have to be great with Potato to get them out of jail for free. But Zervis on this Eldegoss, one of the best Eldegosses on the planet, one of the only players that can eclipse sometimes even Clefables and Blissey with their healing, but from the Eldegoss specifically. And that is a huge boon for for free because anytime they can play the Goss, They'll play in the Goss. Yeah, I mean, look, Internal not able to pick that Pokemon up. We've seen it a lot today right. so far. This could be a great draft from For Free. Obviously, they really had Yala Bingo's number last month. The question is, are things going to look the same? Or is this going to be that new movie everyone's talking about, Groundhog Day? Day. But it's different. Which because is it's cool, March. Because it's March. And Spraggles came up with it. Which means it's just that much better, buddy. Let's get into game. Grand Finals, baby. Thank Let's you so it. much, Doomsex. I love that you always support what I'm all about here. As we head into game number one of your Grand Finals. For free, your purple team. Yala Bingo, your orange team. For free, coming from the winner's side. Which means they only need to win two games to shut down Yala Bingo. Yala Bingo would need to bracket reset. Beat for free two games in a row. And then do it again. Last month, they had many opportunities to make that happen, and they couldn't quite get it done. We'll see if they can today. Four freeze win loss record is 12 and one, and Yala Bingo's win loss record is 19 and six. A lot of games played for these two teams, and most of them wins. Yeah, I mean, that's what's gonna happen when you have the two possibly best teams in your region going up against each other right now. Nice uh, attempt to secure there here from the side of Yala Bingo. That Dodrio already level four and a half, looking very strong. Yeah, Zervis actually on the gospel floor picking up the red buff to try and keep Yala Bingo down by slowing them down. Something that Eldegoss already does, but with that red buff, pushes it over the edge. We can see here moving down to get a little bit of this farm here on the bottom path as we have Sereyu head up to the top path right here. Three for the side of Yala Bingo, three for the side of Four Free. A fight could break out here. Yeah, Sereyu actually looking for the, the players at first, gets a nice little stun from internal and decides to just pivot to the bird. Ultimately, these teams elect to leave themselves alone for now because they got the experience they need. Sereyu possibly looking for a sneaky play right here. This feels pretty dangerous, jumping into that goal zone and multiple members here of Yala Bingo, but of course it was a surprise for Yala Bingo. Not able to make much happen there. We see the drill peck once again on the Dodrio. Sereyu now hanging out in the top path, and it looks like they're sending Blastoise down through that central area to get some experience. Yeah, get Gatlu online, another uh, imposing force once they do hit Blastoise, but I gotta give credit to Internal. They've done a great job with those Astonishes, actually kind of of cutting off Sereyu before they can have those big combos. And we're going to see what happens here as we head towards the central area for a big fight around this eight minute spawn here of these birds. Dodrio moving in with a massive catch right there. Looks like they're going to have to peel back. Yes, Zorark has to run from that situation. Not only getting a bunch of experience, but also almost taking Sereyu off the map, forcing all of for free to have to collapse around them to make sure Sereyu isn't knocked out. 
Taking a look at levels, it looks like it's pretty even for these two squads. We still don't have a Blastoise right here up in this top path. We have Sixie staying up here, just charging up those Icicle Spears, looking for a target to use them on right there, as we have the portal signaling to the team that they could come up here to this top path. It also could just be a mind game that they're playing with for free. Yeah, it's info that you can, that you, you can willingly give up for no actual rotation out of your team. Nice Solar Beam takes a bunch of those. It's a 2v3 downstairs, and it looks like a quick reset set out of potato as internals looking to scrap. Sixies unleashes the Icicle Spears on top of Zervis. Zervis forced to pivot back, so does Gatlu. Gatlu right here, the Baskin Robbins of Blastoise today. Just about every flavor that we've seen. We've seen Surf Pump, we've seen Spin Pump, and now we've got the Rapid Spin, and we've got the Water Spout as Registeel's being chipped up. Here comes the Zorhark, but the Mean Look stops it! Phenomenal Mean Look, it cuts the Rayu off. Can they get this KO? No, they force out Marv, they have to pivot back. Sixties uses their Unite move to Glaceon. The Icicle Spears are gonna rain in. They finally sort out Sereyu. They take that thing for themselves. Now Chelvin is getting about half HP. Zervis pivots back. Chelvin is just leashing around Yala Bingo, hoping to buy time for the rest of Four Feet Squad to make it to the bottom path so they don't collapse on this goal zone. That was maybe the meanest mean look I've seen in a very long time, and I've played against a lot of Umbreons right there. Jeez, that was really difficult to deal with as the Icicle Spears continue to fly all the way from base as Glaceon goes back. Lunderu looking to get some of this right here, but in a little bit of trouble right now. They could get taken down by this massive amount of damage that can, that can be output by Serae. The only mean look that is meaner is the one you gave me when I couldn't stop laughing when we were at the, at the desk. Besides that, that was a pretty mean, mean look. Oh, come on. It wasn't a mean look. I love you for life, buddy. I appreciate you. Quick little reset here from Lunder. The Mew looking to make their impact felt. They've been doing great on the wild Pokemon, but now they need to find these four free players. Rapid Water Spout is out. It's going for the spacing. 60s foot heels back. Into the back line is Potato quickly. Regielecki is so low. Nobody's touching his herbs. It's just no! And clutches it out. I don't even know if that's a clutch out. Well, unlike the cards that we sell at Sprinkles and Snacks Automotive, but Sarayu going to try and battle. Quickly uses the illusion of Potato on a rampage here, along with Six. He's finally getting the KOs they need. They can't believe they lost that Regielek. Yala Bingo getting the better of that, but that's just one of those hyperspace holes. I don't think Dodrio thought they were actually going to be heading home in, and they were. What a wild Regielek he secured by the B button on the side of 4 free. I cannot believe Sarayu, just an imposing force at the start, is level 9. We have three level 10 pluses on Yala Bingo really rallied back specifically at the basement Reggie fight and have kind of taken over this game. Yala Bingo looking quite different right here than the grand finals we saw them in last month. I mean, this is a new team. This is definitely not what they were bringing last month here. Potato hanging out in this top path right now. The question is, could they go for a sneaky score? Are they going to watch this goal zone, or do they care about this fight? Dodrio could peel off at any moment. It looks like Blastoise knows that on the side of 4 free as we continue this battle here in the bottom path. Yeah, and that's great communication out of Yalabingo saying, hey, look, they only have four as well. Quickly using the Zorark Unite, but straight to another mean look. Now we have the rings unbound and a KO. Lunder finds their target. Chelvin is low as well. Mew Unite is there, and they get buckled by 60s quickly. Service on the chase, they eat an Electro Ball and all of four free getting spaced out. They may have gotten this Espeon, but Zante is kept down by that mythical Pokemon Hoopa. Internal now working through this Registeel with 60s and Lunder. They take it easily. Marv is low on HP. They're going to catch a full reset. Rapids and Water Spouts raise into the back line, but Lunder makes it far back. The boosted out back the other way. Enough to scare for free. And there's still going on. This fight is still pushing right here. Oh, 60s again. moving in. Massive Solar Beam right there into the mean look as they're continuing to push. Two getting reset through this hyperspace hole. 60s got the full Icicle Spears. We're going to see if they decide to come back through. Lunderu does as they're making their way back. We have Umbreon walking back right here into this fight, and it looks like they're breaking off for the moment. That was a long one. That was the Snyder cut of team battles right there. Yeah, that was six and a half hours. Came in two VHSs from Blockbuster there. Hydro Typhoon doesn't catch anybody, but does break Marv's passive. Quickly KO'd is Gatling for that effort. Sixties gets the spacing they need. Can they get the score? Down to five. Can we get the over? 45 over for Yala Bingo in the box. Beautiful stuff here. Sereyu looking to punish them a little bit for this. Picks up a nice big KO on Glaceon. Able to make those combos in a big way. However, Mew coming right back to punish them. I swear, Lunderu's Mew is a thing of absolute beauty. A lot of players is popping off this thing, but I don't know why because we see Lunderu popping off on it right now. Yeah, and multiple times today. Potato quickly scrambling to their side of the map, but yes, this Lunder Mew is quite literally a problem. Lunder, a new add to Yala Bingo, ele elevating their game clearly. Potato 
finding a groove with a Pokemon that isn't Buzzwool, changing the texture of this game, and now they are up huge on the scoreboard. Huge on the scoreboard, huge level-wise. I mean, they've got the position all over the map. It seems like they've got for free exactly where they want them. They're gonna need to take a lot of games off of here, so this is a great start for Yala Bingo as they push forward towards this fight. Quickly traps Chelvin in the mean. Look, Chelvin low on HP, everybody resets, though. Are they gonna pour back through? No, they're gonna take the long way around, and I think that's a smart move, Spraggles. Now the rest of the team, Yala Bingo just needs to buy time. Another solar beam through the light screen, and that's a ton of damage on top of Gatlu. Sorry, you're ripping through this red. You like the Eskel Spears are there, and it is taken by four free. Zante getting that objective for the squad, but it's just moving towards a tier one. Yellow Bingo has a good opportunity to defend. Four free actually might be looking at their Rayquaza fight, and they are moving on here. That's a huge Unite move, and they are scoring in this top path. Seeing what the overcap is going to be. Dodrio coming on in here to try to stop this right now, but they're continuing to move forward. Umbreon is in trouble. Picks up a KO on the Espeon. The Icicle Spears on to the Slowbro right now as Sereyu jumps in. Can you believe Marv is so low? Sixties is low as well. They do pick up another KO. Two players down, but now the Hoopa's back. Whoa! Whoa! Great engagement. Inject one wraps with Water Spout, and now Marv is so low. They're going to have to catch reset. Caught the mean look. Lunder is now standing alone by themselves. The rings are still ready to be unbound because they're going to have to pull them to the middle. Mew Unite forced out. Gatlu sitting in the middle. I can't believe that Electro Ball just hit the Acelgore. Now Eternal's pulling everybody through. They're pivoting back to the middle. So Rayu's back. Chelvin's half on HP, but we are battling with Zerb. Zante's rotten to the top. Great quiz at 25%. We're moving through our solo. Solar Beam's early. Solar Beam's early. It's still taken by Yellow Bingo. It's Glaceon. Sixies pivoting off of the Espeon onto the Glaceon. It's all Ebeons right now for Yellow Bingo. KO Streak of two on top of it. And now Yellow Bingo's getting it done. What an absolutely insane back and forth between these two teams. The eject button on Blastoise over the wall right there to pick up two. Unbelievable. Umbreon getting away on a sliver. One HP and a dream. Shout out to Grango, the content samurai, and crunches right there because he could go on the highlight reel, but it wasn't enough. Umbreon actually is able to make it back. Crazy enough. They move back in for this fight, and they get a huge secure right there for free. Incredible stuff. Yeah, I can't stress it enough. Potato hitting another gear on this Dodrio has unlocked this Yellow Bingo squad. Yeah. They don't have to rely on this Buzzle anymore. And just so we make sure we know, Lunder pops up with a KO streak of three. Three players X'd out, and you know what that means? They might have to change the ESRB rating on this game, because three X's in a row is pure danger. Yeah, that's right, everybody. <laughs> We're trying to get this game shut down right now. <laughs> Live on broadcast here. Yellow Bingo looking fantastic there. There in game number one. Doomsex, once again, I think he broke himself <laughs> right next to me here. Well, since Doomsex is broken, and I'm broken all the time, I want to send it over to two men who can really break this thing down. Zoinks, Wonder Chef, take it away. What a game. If Mesh can't fix you, I don't know what will, because that was a sick showing. Yala Bingo showcasing that the momentum is still behind them. And yes, they are not your champions yet. It's just one game but I feel like it's finally time to put this narrative of them struggling in grand finals to bed with a start like that, you know they're coming for a victory. Yeah, that was an awesome game to start off this grand finals. Yala Bingo, your orange team, for free, your purple team, for free, coming from that winner's bracket right here. So they actually do have a game to give against Yala Bingo, but they would really like to even up this series here, Doom Snacks. Yeah, you don't want to give a team like Yala Bingo much like Yellow Bingo didn't want to give it to for free, enough real estate to gain the momentum they need to rally back, right? Both of these teams are good. Both of these teams can win. Both of these teams want to win. Nip that in the bud as fast as you can. And look at that here. Mew as our third ban right now, putting some respect on their name. Lunderu, a targeted ban here uh, by the side of for free, and I am not shocked. Which means that Krussel is unlocked. Chelvin snaps that up immediately. Potato, Dodrio, Hover, but I think they're going to go in a different direction and let Potato probably pick later on into this portion here. But internal, great hoop of play in game one, and I would not be surprised if they went back there. It's also possible they do snap up Dodrio early just because Gotlu is a known Dodrio player. Where I want to see if Gotlu decides to counter that at all, but it seems like he's been on Blastoise duty all day long. Let's see what For Free wants to change up right here. Dante coming in with the Sylveon Gotlu on the Blaziken. Yeah, 
Yala Bingo really just getting the, the switch up that they wanted, and that's the Espeon quickly Marvlocks and Umbreon. We saw how phenomenal that was last game, and Potato is truly feeling this Dodrio with another hover. Yeah, here we go, hovering over the bird right now, deciding if they want that or if they have another plan that they want to take early. They do take Dodrio right here for free with their last picks. Boy, if that's a Gyarados, I would be so excited, but I don't know if I've seen it on the side of for free just yet. But please, I would love to see the carp come out here in game number two, and we they lock it in. Let's go. Lock. We have a Gyarados locked in. Sixies immediately queuing up the Meowskarada. Looks to pivot, of course, to the Glaceon, another Pokemon that we've seen them play a few times here. Um, looked good on it last time, but I, it's hard to not talk about this Gyarados. Yeah, Gyarados is so exciting to see. I'm guessing they switch over to Gotlu. Yes, they do it as I'm saying it. Riggin Psychic out here, everybody. Got Lou moving Day. their items around Groundhog's Day, but different right now. Shelvin also on this Crustle, I have to say, is an amazing counter to a lot of what we see on the side of Yala Bingo. Rock Tomb is so mean into Dodrio, resets the Sprint Gauge. It, you know, knocks the passes passive off of Espeon and Glaceon. It's just such a huge, huge play right here uh, for For Free to have that and have that early. It's going to be a little tough for Yala Bingo to play into, but Yala Bingo is on a hot streak right now. Yeah, what the question I have is how are they going to get this Gyarados online and how quickly can Gatlu get online? We talked about in cooperative play, mm -hmm. it is easier to get Gyarados online, but everybody in high-level competitive play understands how it ta what it takes to get Gyarados uh, moving. So let's see what we can do there on both sides to how we balance it out. Look at this who will win percentage that we see on the screen here. I don't know if you've got your, you've got your glasses on. You can read that. 51-49, who's in the lead? When you look at that, 4 free is slightly in the lead there, but something that you'll notice if you're really paying attention is how close these two numbers are. 51 and 49 are so incredibly close. We still have people crunching the stats behind the scenes. Hopefully we get an official word on how far apart that is, but these teams are close, Stoop Snacks. Very close, just like this match right now. We're going into game two, but these two teams are scrapping it out, keeping themselves almost at parity here. Yeah, we got Potato heading up into this top path with a Hoopa, and this is something that you were talking about. You know, you've got this tough job. One thing you've got to do is get this Magikarp online, get it online quickly. There are a few ways to do that. The easiest one is to somehow get a KO with Magikarp. If you're able to get a KO with Magikarp, you basically evolve into Instantly. An assist on a KO is also huge. And then scoring helps you charge up as well. Look at Sixies immediately rolling up, making sure internal does not go down. And of course, because they didn't get that knockout, Gatlu might be level four, but they are still far away from that Gyarados with that effort meter. All right, here we go, Dupe Snacks. We're going to be a popsicle stick at the end of it right now with a fun fact. So far, Rayquaza has been captured in 72.4% of the games during the EU March Cup. More like a Snapple cap fact, really. Yeah, you know, pop the top and learn a little something. Why not? We're, we've got the hyperspace highway open. We'll see if anybody actually rotates. Nope, that's a, a voluntary information here to see if they can trap anybody for free. But trapped are all those birds. Pulled to the side of Yellow Bingo. Now they're looking for an opportunity. We have the nasty looking Combuskin pop out. Sereo at half HP. Gatlu still struggling as a magic card. Yeah, Gatlu's going to take a little time to get on here with this Gyarados. Now, obviously, this is something that Yellow Bingo understands. They know they can't give up an early KO to this thing because it could be very bad. They actually are able to KO it in the top path right here. So for free is going to be behind with this strategy. You have to expect that a little bit with Gyarados, but of course you're going up against a great team. And sometimes when you're behind, a great team will never let you catch back up. Yeah, and now they actually have to send uh, Gatlu in the central. Yes, they did it as Wartortle, but Wartortle is not fighting uphill like Magikarp is right now, swimming uphill, I should say, as Lunder is kind of cleaning up and has been left pretty much alone in the bottom path. We see the fight here for this middle Altaria spawn. Sereyu in a ton of trouble, so much so that they end up getting KO'd. Zervis having to peel back here. And we do now have Gyarados online. We have Gyarados. Potato kind of seeing that Gatlu is struggling, might be in the central area. Tried to see if they could suss them out and get a quick KO. Nice little astonish on Zervis. And now Marv traps Chelvin. Chelvin low HP, so is Zante. Nice little portal. They're getting some scores in with the support. And they roll back through to Sahoop and Sixies. Now they're looking for Sereyu. Sereyu low HP again. They get trapped, they get KO'd by Lunder, and now Marv is getting their points, and they're doing a great job in this gold.
goal zone as Potato is harassing Gatler in the top path. And you can see right here, you know, in this bottom path, we've got kind of a difference of strategies with these two teams. In the top path, we have Gyarados. Takes a long time to get good. In the bottom path, we had multiple Eevees there just pushing onto that goal zone. And right now, it looks like this early advantage is very good for Yala. Bingo, 115 to zero. Quickly trapped Marv in the rock tube, but a mean look right back the other way, and the portal being put in the right spot, and Marv gets out again. Internal and Marv are moving phenomenally in tandem. Red Steel popping everybody up, four players around for Yala Bingo. Nice SP on Unite, gonna see if they can leverage that into anything. Marv is trying to get on top of Saray. Saray charging up an overheat, can't eject through and make a gap here. Lunderer uses their Unite move, they're gonna rain in damage. They're gonna see if they can close this goal zone out while they've got the motor run, and they're gonna try and get on top of Saray. Saray has to peel back, grab a berry for themselves. Shelvin was frontlining, peels back in a rock tomb spot. Spaces it all out. Really nice stuff from Yellow Bingo right there. I mean, completely, you know, pushing for free out of that engagement. Entirely easy, secure for them on that bottom objective. And we are out leveling the Gyarados in the top path. We've got a Unite move if Potato would like to use it. Jump kicks in. See if it could pick up something there on that Gyarados. Maybe bounce around and throw the drill peck the other way to pull it off of that pad. Yeah, Zervis going there to give a little bit of support as we've got our top path reestablished. Sarayu there, a little bit of extra firepower out of the Blaziken looking for the Reggie Alecki, but here comes Lunder. They're gonna try and shell in on top of Zervis, deal with that, but stepping up his Gatlu. Nice Dodrio Unite into the back line, charging up the overheat, and taking Reggie Alecki doesn't even matter. Gyarados gets KO'd, now they're looking for the next one. Potato is swashing through everybody. Blaziken goes down and says, come on, cease fire now. Incredible stuff, Yala Bingo now pushing towards this tier two goal zone. Sheldon in this bottom path, just getting really aggressive with this Umbreon right here. But while this is happening, we have a massive siege in this goal zone. They are now scoring into this top path, 296 to zero right here. Yala Bingo looking incredible, and I'm sure they're all saying, Groundhog Day, but different. Groundhog Day, but different, because it's March, baby. Marv doing a great job keeping Chelvin with them in the bottom path and not having the Crustle Rock Tomb there to get the spacing that you mentioned that's so important and so good against Potato allowed a huge siege by Yala Bingo. For free right now, kind of giving up this match to Yala Bingo so far. Five minutes on the clock. Level-wise, it's not close. Score-wise, it's not close. I think everyone, you know, might be voting differently if the poll came up right now. I don't think it would be that close. By the way, we're still waiting on the stats to see how close that poll actually was. Everyone in the booth. Well, quickly closing the goal zone behind them is a nice look by Yala Bingo. That means there's nowhere for Four Free to retreat to, while Yala Bingo can leash the Red Steel to their side. Finding it tough to engage, Four Free is trying to move in. Craft and Rock Tomb is Lunder. We're going straight in. The Hyper Voice is in the middle, and we're popping the Psychic Solaire. But everybody blinks out. Potato's still sitting there. Gatlu's in the back line. They get a KO. Red Steel's getting low, but the rest of Yellow Bingo comes in. And taken out by Zervis is the Reggie. Now the rest of Yellow Bingo just has to pivot back as that thing was snatched out from under him. But a great engagement by Gatlu to make sure they take care of Potato. Yeah, that was a beautiful engagement by Gatlu right there. And even though some got back through the hyperspace hole, really nice Gyarados Unite. Jumped in, and in that moment, they used the Gyarados Unite to avoid so much damage. No, they can't catch anyone through that hyperspace hole, but you're right. They pick up Dodrio right there. They're able to pick up an objective, and finally, see, we see some signs of life here from the 4 free side. Fortunately, you win this game on the scoreboard, and Yala Bingo is still firmly in control of that. As they are working through this Registeel, or excuse me, Reggie Alecki, they want to send it towards for free. Ideally, they would have waited longer if they could, but they can't. So send that thing down the line and have four free contend with it. Yeah, four free is just going to have to deal with this. Oftentimes, you won't see teams push towards that center goal zone. Not impossible, though. But what you'll more likely see is them look for a score here in this bottom path. Otherwise, they could just head back to their side of the map to farm. There isn't a ton of it up right there, though. So unfortunately, they don't get a huge, you know, windfall from this Reggie Alecki. But a lot of Reggie Aleckis don't do too much. As we saw earlier, they only score 2% of the points out of the entire championship series. Step yo game up Reggie Alecki. You're supposed to be the points based objective and 2.5% is low. Lower than some of the percentage we've seen earlier on our screen just a few moments ago. Reggie Alecki, figure out what's going on in your life right now, okay? This is an intervention. Become a more important objective. We see the teams right now fighting over this blue buff, possibly Marv looking for this right here, but instead just being able to get some vision for the team. They know what's happening on the 4 free side of the map right now. We have a Reggie spawning in the bottom path here in just 15 seconds. We're going to see how these teams want to fight around this. 
Yeah, this is an opportunity for Yalabigo. Plenty of time to take it off the map, but it looks like 4-Free wants to contend with it. Chelvin moving very far forward with a great forward position, which means the Rock Tomb is going to get great sp spacing. Immediately traps Lunder. Regice is at half. It's going to start getting shredded. We're throwing Icicle Spears at it. They're stepping right in as Chelvin. They're going to take this fight. Eternal goes for it. They trap Chelvin. Nice Psychic Solar catches a couple. They're into the back line. Zervis is down. Suryu gets stunned. They're popping everybody, and a nice beam by Bufa deals with another player. Three players down. We're switching back. Four players down, and it just that scrambles away. The rest of Yala Bingo sees the writing on the wall. It is seven, it's two minutes left. There's still three players down. They're going to start ripping it. Potato is moving through. Ray Quaze is back, but so is the rest of Four Free. They use the Cotton Cloud Crash. Service is going for a miracle play. Hey! They get it! What a Cotton Cloud Crash is sealed up for Four Free. Saying Four Free, Yala Bingo. Cha Ching, we taking it from you, baby. But Yala Bingo still up huge on the scoreboard. We're going to get a Hundo Banger downstairs by the Sylveon. Yala Bingo still has signs of life. Ooh, Sante not able to make it home. That right there from internal could be the play that just saved them the game. We no longer have a Rayquaza shield. We have one on Crustle. I think it's the last Pokemon with a shield, and there just aren't enough points. Minute 20 on the clock, but Sorayu moving in like an absolute demon. KO and two chasing down Lundaroo right now, but having to peel back the Icicle Spears taking them down, and Shelvin needs to protect this shield right now. Meanwhile, Dodrio scoring in this bottom path, increasing this score lead. Got Lou with no shield in the top path is able to put in 100, but Shelvin has to protect this Rayquaza shield right here. It may be their only opportunity using the hit check button to run away. Dodrio coming right back in. The X's are to stop it. The full heal. The shield does not go down. Finally, it goes down. The Rock Tomb is there, and what a pressure point placed on four free by Yala Bingo. Yes, Zervis did the first leg work for four free with an amazing cotton cloud crash. Elder God secure, but Yala Bingo kept their composure, identified what their route to success was, and is still maintaining here with 25 seconds to go. 25 seconds to go. They're jumping in with the big time bounce. Here comes the Unite move from the Gyarados. Dodrio moving on in. Dodrio does go down. We have another Pokemon that's getting blinked out as they head towards the Central Era. Look at that from the Hoopa. The scores are coming in, 386 to 614 now. What an incredible play by Yala Bingo. Yala Bingo picked their moment meticulously. Four free thought they'd get to back up before this Rayquaza fight went down, and Yala Bingo said, not today. We immediately saw the rings go unbound. We saw the stuns go up, a nice Psychic Solaire to rein in a ton of damage. And guess what? Just like Four free did to them in February, Groundhog's Day, but different, Yala Bingo takes it in two. That's right. Let's send it back over to our desk here because we're getting ready for a bracket reset, everybody. Zoinks, Wonder Chef, take it away. This movie's exciting. I like Groundhog's Day, but different. This is a great one. And so far, this match also very good. Yeah, yeah, this, this is Groundhog's Day, but different. And, you know, actual Groundhog's Day is for, for two more weeks of winter or whatever it is. But this one's for two more games plus of Grand Finals, which we are going to get. This has been an amazing set. Revenge is a dish best served cold, and it might be lunchtime where we are, but they are going to dish that up ice cold. Yellow Bingo would love to win two on the hop and really dispel anything that anyone might neg have to say negative about them. I am so ecstatic the Yellow Bingo has reset this thing and have been able to show that they deserve to be here and are really one of the only two teams in the conversation for Best of EU. Here we go. First pick on that Eldegoss. So you can see how much these two teams prioritize that Pokemon. For free, snapping up the Inteleon and the Crustle. Crustle just such a powerhouse here. Yala Bingo possibly thinking about grabbing Dodrio early, but they do not. I wonder if For free wants to counter this in any way. Gotlu is a great Dodrio, and it really takes away an option from Potato. They do here with this next pick. Here's the thing, though. Marv and Internal, we saw them the same type of thing with Zorark. They're going to be able to mean look. They're going to be able to use Cotton Spore to disrupt the Dodrio, and it only has a couple instances of that full heal available, which means once they lock them down, they're done. Here we go. You can see that Zervis having to sit on the Blissey right now. I wonder how confident they're feeling on this Pokemon. Obviously, they play a lot of LD, play a lot of Hoopa. I don't see as much Blissey out of them. Lundaroo able to take the Mew, and then Potato says, you know what? Fine. I got to go with the old faithful. Give me the Garchomp, baby. 
I mean, Potatoes Garchomp, this is a great moment for it, right? They've forced Gotlu into something out of their strategy that we've seen so far today. They have plenty of ways to counter Gotlu specifically. Electro Ball, Mean Look, Cotton Spore. So let Potato go to work. I'm interested to see what happens with this Lucario from Sereyu here. I like the pick, but at the same time, I was just wondering if they were going to grab maybe Blastoise here, even though they weren't probably planning on playing it the same way. Gotlu's obviously their top path player right now. It's just such a powerful Pokemon that they could bring out right here. A lot of range on the side of Yala Bingo with Sixies and Lundaru right here. We've got some great dive on the side of For Free with the Dodrio, with the Lucario. We're gonna have to see how these teams are able to make it happen here in game number three or game number one of our bracket reset. Yeah, game number one of our bracket reset in the grand finals here. Best of three is what we've got in front of us. I, I, this draft just across the board is incredibly fun and offers a lot of unique dynamics that is not only skill expressive for the individuals, but how the teams can play and facilitate these things. Specifically, again, Gatlu on the Dodrio, we set all of the counters, but there's plenty in the hands of For Free to facilitate Gatlu to take those options away on the side of Yellow Bingo. And of course, I'm excited to see the Garchomp from Potato. I mean, one of the legendary Garchomp players inside of Pokemon Unite. And you're gonna see it here in these grand finals. The only thing that EU likes more than Potato's Garchomp is a bracket reset. They seem to do it all the time. Here we go, Yellow Bingo, your purple team. For Free, your orange team. Quickly going into the top path, internal and potato, not afraid of what they've got going on the other side. Chansey and Lucario going to hang out there, of course. Lucario strong early, but one of the few Pokemon that does have to evolve that can contest it fairly well is this Gibble. Yeah, here we go, trying to take some of that away from Lucario. They're just getting bullied here by Garchomp. See what they're able to do. Lucario's in a lot of trouble right Whoa. now, and they do go down. Nice big double KO on the side of Yala Bingo. It all goes over to the Eldegoss. This the communication on Yala Bingo is important. Impressive. And I know the communication is going on incredibly well. Sixies didn't rotate up and hide. They were saying the pressure is now. We need you here now. They literally, literally took one buff and rotated in to make their pressure felt and get two KOs, the K opener and a supplementary one for that effort. Now they can head down to this bottom path right here and get a little aggressive. They are doing that, moving forward there towards Shelvin, trying to secure some of that wild Pokemon. Here comes Gotlu on the Dodrio, getting stopped there by that stored power. It is able to reset the sprint cage right there as it pushes in, kind of an annoying counter for the bird. Another KO for internal up top on Sereyu. We saw a little mean look on Chelvin there. Chelvin makes it back, and we've got the, the Drizzile trying to get into Inteleon quickly, already level five. Gatlu trying to make their mark felt quickly on this goodbye. Potatoes in, with tough waters, but internal there's for the support. Here comes Sereyu as well. We got a three on two, and Gatlu wants more action. Sereyu engages deep with the E-speed. They get a quick KO on the goodbye. Now internal saying, 60s, come help me, my friend. Throwing down a pollen puff, gonna pick it up themselves and things are going to settle down just for a moment. You know, we talked a little bit about the incredible amount of dive on the side of For Free, even more so now that we see this is an extreme speed Lucario, one of the highest skill builds inside of Pokemon Unite. With so many stuns, slows, knockups inside the game right now, you don't see this build that much. We're going to have to see if they're able to make it work inside this match. They have a lot of great targets to jump in on, that's for sure, as they're looking to get 60s there, but not able to make it happen. Gatlu, so incredibly low, but with Lunder going down, they couldn't make anything happen. Sereyu getting taken down by 60s, and so is another player gone. Zante and Mark both going down. These teams are scrapping, and there's nobody stepping backwards, moving forward every single time. Yeah, incredible stuff here from Yala Bingo. Up on the scoreboard once again, 53 to 0. This is looking so great for this team. We're going to see how comfortable Zervis is playing the supporter that does not have a ranged attack. Potato in a lot of trouble right here, getting drugged back into those birds there by the drill peck and going down. Different little look here. I think the reason Sereyu's going E-Speed is to stress all of those counters to Dodrio I was talking about. Because now those things are good on both, but you can't throw them all at one target, right? You have to try and keep both of them on the leash. And they're going to look to do that. Gatlu going for the engagement. Doesn't get caught in the Psychic Solaire. Now uses the Dodrio Knight to get on top of six. He's quickly pivoting as the rest of the Alabingo right into the mean look, right on top of the goal zone. And now it's Gatlu that's in trouble. Nice Solar Beam Zervis steps up to take the brunt of that. Chelvin going to pivot back. Service is going to go down unquestionably. No. 
go. Barb can't close the gap. Chelvin gonna get in the mix. Now Chelvin's getting very low. Solar Beam comes through. Tons of damage being reined in. Sixie's getting credit for the KO. And the Reggie Rock is just milling around saying, I thought you guys thought I was important. Yeah, it looks like nobody wants to actually commit to ripping this thing down. We have a lot of great secure on both sides, mm -hmm. but, you know, Dodrio doesn't rip it too fast. Neither does Inteleon. Mew, of course, one of the worst in the game at shredding the HP of something here. Right now, Yellow Bingo deciding to possibly go for it. Here comes the Unite from the Inteleon. Zante moving in right here with the eject button, looking for the KO. They pick up one massive X scissor, but the Inteleon does go down. Regil Rock getting extremely low, but the secure on the side of 4 free is quite bad. They have a possible Egg Bomb as the damage comes in. Reggie Rock getting low here. The Egg Bomb, can it make it happen? It does! Come on, Zervis! Zervis feeling those objectives and saying, why should the rest of the team show up when I can just do it my darn self? Reggie Rock goes down for free, gets away with one, and now they're going to get this Reggie Alecki as well. Here we go. Nice Reggie Alecki from for free. Coming right back in this game, the Miracle Egg Bomb. But you have to remember, Egg Bomb is a great secure tool. Supports defenders doing a little extra damage onto those, you know, wild Pokemon. Really helps them out with moments like that. Here come the Snipe Shots. Looking for a KO on internal, but a nice little juke there. Yeah, Sixy's gonna get a quick reset here. The top goal zone is gone, but that bought a lot of time for Potato to finally evolve into Garchomp, which is crucial, right? The, essentially, Yala Bingo has been doing having all these fights without their presence to be known at all. So the fact that they're finally online's gotta be a sigh of relief. Potato now level 10, able to get a ton of experience here. Garchomp just, you know, an absolute monster running across this map, able to clear all these wild Pokemon extremely fast, get a very high level. You have to see Garchomp's really beefy by the end of the game right here. Uh, now Garchomp at level 10 is on pace with some of their counterparts on the other side. Yeah, actually Garchomp just hiding out Potato, waiting to see if anybody for four free kind of oversteps their limits here so they can get themselves a KO. Internal eats a snipe shot, their half HP worth pivoting back. Sixy's rotating down and Garchomp gonna start working in the central area. And we don't have an objective on the map, but these teams are certainly looking at each other. Lucario looking for a score possibly in this top path right here. They only had four points, so we're gonna have to see if that's exactly what they wanted out of this, possibly just to get a stack here. Either way, they do go down, KO for four points. Hey, if it's the four points that make the difference later that I guess it was worth it right here. We head up to the top path. Blissey all by their lonesome. Gottlieb coming up now as the Dodrio taking the long way around to make sure that they're not caught. Great macro knowledge there by Zervis. Immediately ditching the bottom path, understanding Yellow Bingo might make it to push top and is able to support the squad. Psychic Solaire doesn't catch anybody. Cotton Cloud Crash certainly does. Blissey is right in the middle. So right, you catch it. They're east speeding through. They're on top of six. He's forcing out the eject button. We have another Inteleon Unite. And yes, everybody's moving forward. Here's three players are already down for Yellow Bingo because Gatlu cunning coming unglued getting everybody there got Lou putting some points in this top path right now reggie lucky looks like it's going down to the side of four free i don't think anyone's going to make it there from yala bingo in time they're able to take a nice objective there and now they have an opportunity to head down to the bottom path as well for free right back in this game right back in this series yeah, and the whole time, Marv and Chelvin just staring at each other in the bottom half, wondering if everybody's going to show up and hang out with them for a bit. As uh, Yellow Bingo's going to deal with this Reggie Alecki, but that gives For Free a great opportunity on this basement, Reggie. Here comes For Free. Got Lou with the drill peck starting to chip up this Reg Ice right here. We have three members of Yellow Bingo coming down to see what they can do about it. We have the Inteleon Secure getting ready with the Snipe Shot, the Snipe Shot finding Umbreon right here. Mew with the Unite move, looking for the Secure, looking for a possible snipe on one of the enemy Pokemon. Reg Ice is extremely low right here. Here comes the Solar Beam. Here comes the Snipe Shot. Was it secured by Blissey again with just a slap? I think Zante, Come yes. on. Get out of here. That Snipe Shot looked, it was about the same time. Mostly Snipe Shot, some service there. Yala Bingo getting a couple of Kalak KOs there in that whole exchange for free, leaving with another objective, however, and up on these levels by a small margin, but still. Here we go. We have 20 seconds now until Rayquaza hits the map. For free up. Feels like maybe the first time they've been up throughout this entire series. They've had some tough games, but this one is going a lot better for them right now. This is, I guess, the first time Yala Bingo throughout this little back and forth here has had to make a big play here at Rayquaza. Got Lou looking to possibly get some experience here and score in this bottom path. They both have tier ones up in the bottom path, which means anyone can really peel off and even this game up pretty simply. Yeah, just taking a look, I mean, this Garchomp's been nowhere to be found, M-I-A, and they're on the moon, so 
they better come back to Earth, Moon Man, and make a, your presence felt because you have been a non-factor. Yeah, here we go. We do have the Garchomp still hiding in that top bush, like you said, playing a little Jim Carrey. They're the man on the moon right now, but they could come in and make this whole thing happen. We have Lucario watching the top path as well. Four Free is up right now, so they really don't need to do too much except let Yala Bingo make a mistake. Sheldon in a little bit of trouble right there, being caught by the mean look. We had, it looked like Gotlu trying to score in the bottom path, but being pushed off. Yeah, Marv looking to pivot to see if Gatlu maybe rolls up a little too early so he can catch them in a mean look, but they decide to let them off the hook. The Dodrio playing in the bottom path very well. We're looking for an engagement here. Chelvin's trapped again. Egg Bomb coming through. Potato not willing to get on top of anybody. Lunder's at half HP. They're going to have to pivot back. And now Chelvin's starting to move forward, getting a little confidence here. As Potato's just been sitting in the middle of this Rayquaza pit, hoping that somebody pays attention to them. There we go. The Inteleon Unite is out. Big snipe shot on top of Eternal Force. Now the Cotton Cloud crash. They're looking for the target they want. They land on top of the Umbreon. Chelvin is low, but in the back line is the Garchomp. Potato can't get a KO, but Lunder does. Now Gatlu into the back line. They're going to pivot back, but it's still Lunder coming unglued. Gatlu gets one, but that is not enough. We still have four players up on the side of Yellow Bingo. They're looking for their next opportunity, and that is Marv taken out by service for some reason. Now the snipe shot hits Lunderu again. Internal needs to pick up that HP, but Rayquaza is incredibly low. Now everybody's going down in service with another one. Five players down Yellow Bingo. The whole team is eliminated, and 4-3 is looking to close this thing out. 4-3 running to score right now but with only 10 seconds left there's really nothing Yala Bingo can do because they are all still in the Pokemon Center for free right back in this thing not getting sent home just yet they want to win this year for a second month two in a row looks pretty good for for free right now Yala Bingo is going to need to step it up here in the rest of our grand finals bracket reset we're going to send this thing back on over to Zoinks and Wonder Chef to break this game down gentlemen what a bounce back from for free great to see from them they are now on the board leading this reset grand finals 1-0 that's right. It's uh, really a, a back and forth as true as we can possibly see it. You can even see uh, from the stats right there. Again, a fight back and forth, but yeah. uh, now life in their lives. Yeah, we were actually talking about it between games here. This actually puts the draft prio on Dodrio different for Yala Bingo. If they want it, they need to pick it earlier because for free has a great opportunity. They long gone are the days of making it your fourth or fifth pick I think in this particular matchup. Yeah we're gonna have to see what they want to bring in here. Looks like they're prioritizing the Inteleon possibly the Crustle again. These have been huge Pokemon obviously. Internal grabbing that Eldegoss early. They love it. Potato getting Dodrio. And we're going to have to see what For Free wants to do to answer that here because they really didn't seem to have an answer for it in any of their earlier games. If they wanted Dodrio, they had to take it there because otherwise For Free is snagging it guaranteed. Absolutely. Right? The, right now, the recipe to success against Yellow Bingo is cut off Potato from their Pokemon. Now we're going Zervis, hovering Clefable, and Gotlu quickly locking in Meowskarada. Ooh, I love to see the Meowskarada right here. Dupe Snacks, this could be very, very fun. We've not seen a ton of it. Out of EU and this Pokemon it feels like has just been tearing it up especially in a lot of the NA games that we have been watching right here for free looking for their last picks right now possibly hovering the Talon right here we're gonna see if they want to bring that towards the side of Yala Bingo it doesn't feel like the yeah I was gonna say Talon doesn't feel like it plays super well into a lot of what Yala Bingo had Mew can get away from it maybe it's good you know to target that uh, Espeon but they're locking in the Blaziken sending it over to Gotlu Sereu is going to be the one picking up that speedster yeah I mean I'm not saying they don't mind but Sereu and Gotlu on Blaziken Meowskarada can certainly battle inside of a mean look better than some of the other picks we've seen so far. And that's a nod to that, right? Don't try and play around necessarily the Dodrio, maybe try and play within the mean look. And um, for free, a comp of Pokemon they're very comfortable with. I gotta say, I love seeing that energy amplifier on Meowskarada. Meowskarada's Unite move just got an amazing buff. It's so powerful. If you stack up that attack weight and you have an energy amplifier, you've just unlocked the delete button from that Meowskarada. It can hit multiple members of the enemy team. This could be huge for four free. Again, they take this game, they win the whole thing right now, two months in a row. Eject button into that Unite move, that Meowskarada Unite move is a walking, literally, delete button for some of the players on Yala Bingo. You're looking at Lunder, that's a great way to force out a preemptive Mew Unite, right? Mm -hmm. Force it to scamper away. You know, force out Marv to use their Unite move to try and nab some of the shields back off of that. So 
for free understands the texture of this draft and have cobbled together a pretty good strategy. On the In the hands of Yellow Bingo, though, a lot of Pokemon that they are very comfortable and familiar with and have been successful with. That's right. It does feel like Yellow Bingo got a lot of what they wanted right here. And we're going to see if for free is able to take some of these picks and kind of counterpunch Yala Bingo's strategy as we head in here to game number two of our grand finals bracket reset in the EU region. For free just needs one more game to win this thing. Gotlu heading into the central area. Sereyu in the top path with the Sprigatito. Yep, and I would hate to see Gotlu come online too early. And if Yala Bingo can't keep up pace, Potato with a bunch of points managed to score them all. And if they can get out, that's going to be a boon here. Whoa! And they are. Whoa! Was that an eject button out of Saray to get that KO? It was. But they might go down the other way because another very fast rotation by Sixies, and they do get the knockout. Gossipler getting credit. That's internal. KO for KO for KO. Really nice move there from For Free, and a great counter there by Yala. Bingo. Bingo able to take down that Sprigatito. You know, I got to say, I think they knew it was going to be called Sprigatito before they even knew what it was. They were like, what's the most fun word to say? Sprigatito? All right, what is it? Uh, Sprigatito's great. Combustion is way, way worse. Let's get that thing evolved just so we don't have to look at it. Yeah, it's going to be big for dupe sex, everyone. I know we had a little blackout on stream earlier. If we want to do that until that becomes a blaze again, that would actually be really great for my casting partner right here. <laughs> nice fight there from Fort Free. They're in a little trouble right now, though. Huge drill peck from Potato, almost taking down Gotlu. Yeah, Gotlu able to pick up a berry and keep themselves standing. Potato able to rally back from getting knocked out pretty early by the eject button Sprigatito there that we saw. Marv quickly getting some points in, but Chelvin and Zante are going to be able to put the pressure. Sobble into Drizzile. Now Marv has to deal with this tandem. And now here we have multiple members of Yala Bingo in the central area there of For Free, just taking everything that they can. Down in the bottom path, we have multiple members of For Free looking to see if they can get some value down here. They were bullied out of their own central area by Yala Bingo. Well, it was a two-on-one in the top path. Potato is managing to get a KO out of that as we watch up as the huge rotation by Yala Bingo forcing Zervis to use their Moonlight as actually a speed boost to just get out of Dodge. And I'm glad we pivoted up there because Potato was sitting on their own pad in a 2v1 for like 15 seconds there. Yeah, that was really uh, tough here for uh, For Free. Great rotation by Yala Bingo. Obviously, For Free able to find some value around the map, looking for some experience. They need to evolve into Meow Scarada here soon. It's a huge power spike, especially if they can get to level 7 and then 9 for their Unite move. Taking everything out of the central area for for free, Yala Bingo doing a great job not only maintaining and withholding uh, scores into their own goal zone, but taking all of that easy experience, which is why we still see Tom Oscar on the side of for free. We see them pushing down towards this bottom path. This Espeon getting so much value on the side of Yala Bingo. Moving in towards Shelvin right here, caught in the mean look. Zervis pulling back there, nice moonlight to heal it on up. Still more stored power, more side beam, just continuing to shell damage towards the side of for free but Zante is evolved they do have that snipe shot now Marv trying to block them here as Reg Ice is just being chipped down by the side of Yala Bingo Marv is doing a great job keeping Zante away from this Ejephas. The Red Ice is still standing, but Marv has literally kept the attention of three players on 4-3 occupied that entire 21-second rip. Here we go. Is that really a rip? We, yeah, <laughs> that rip that took about as long as it could. And we have Meowskarada finally here by the side of 4 Free. It's also level 7, so it now has both of its moves. We're going to get to see which kind of Meowskarada they're bringing out to Aos Island here. You can really see either one. Yala Bingo right now just taking this down. A lot of competitive players dupe snacks. When we're talking about Meowskarada, we've seen Flower Trick double team. Night Slash Trailblaze also has a decent amount of value here. Is this Regieleki is being pushed towards the top path? These two tanks just brawling in the bottom path. Here we go, Dodrio moving in with a big Unite move. And trying to poach some of the players off the pad, can't quite get there as Potato is level 10, Spraggles. Gatlu looking for an engagement tool. Right to the Psychic Solaire, pops them up, tons of damage in, we're playing in the back line. Now Six is looking for another, we already have two players down with Lunder. Zerbus is on a sliver of HP, they get out of there, and that is a tier two goal zone shattered before the five minute mark. Yala Bingo looking incredible right here. I'm shocked that they gave him the bird, but they gave them the bird, not in the way you might think, they gave him the Dodrio.
And when they gave them that, I feel like they might have given them the game. I'm surprised they let them pick this Pokemon. Well, um, they might not give them the bird. That's the sign language, but there's no respect happening out of Yala Bingo right now. They want theirs here in game two. Lundaroo also making an impact anytime they rotate. No exception there in the top path push. And for free has got to feel like the wheels have just suddenly fallen off the wagon that they built in game one. Yeah, they need to figure something out here. We do have the Unite move for Meow Skirata. We have the Unite move for Intel. On. We're going to see if this fight feels any different than some of the previous ones. Obviously, they're behind on levels, they're behind on objectives, they're behind on points, but they've got those Unite moves. Meow Skaratas is a game changer if they can get a great one out. Here we go, Shelvin getting caught, Meow Skarata possibly moving in, but no, peeling back, not finding their moment, getting caught by Dodrio. Potato almost getting a knockout, but not getting caught in the Rock Tomb is probably what's most important there, Spraggles. Nice snipe shot on Marv, they're almost at half HP. We're dancing around each other here, Lunder is low, they go for a Solar Beam straight into the potential battle. Backline engagement with the double team. Marv pivots back to Zervis. We've got Nitellion using their Unite move. Snipe shot coming through. Doesn't hit anybody but the objective. They're pivoting back. Potatoes shredding them. Gatlu looking for an opportunity here, but there's the Umbreon on top of them. They try to engage back the other way, but it's Potato taking over. One player down, and now they're sitting on top of the goal zone. They've taken everybody. Three players down. Shelvin's in there. Sereyu as well. Kairos took a two for Potato, but there's two back the other way. Sereyu is trying to make it happen. Six, he's still in the cut, and Internal chases it down. That is everybody on four free ultimately getting knocked out. And this goal zone disappears. Disappears for Yellow Bingo. A little bit of bad math right there, but they're still way, way up on the scoreboard. Yala Bingo doing great right now. I mean, For Free has to be kicking themselves over this Dodrio. Once again, it's just like wrecking their entire team. Level 12 already. Meow Skorata, however, getting some nice combat experience in that moment right there. They'll have a Unite move again very, very soon. They're going to need a big win in some of these next few fights here, Doob Snacks. Something that's impressed me about Potato on this Dodrio is usually Potato is hit the go button and engage. We've actually seen them a couple times, specifically against 4 Free, peel back. If they don't get their combo, step back, reset, get with the team, and just consider it a lost opportunity, but don't hemorrhage the game back into the hands of the opposing squad, and that's a great way to keep them involved in this game. Nice Mouse Karate United to the backside. That's two players down immediately. Now Potato's crunched in between these two players. Marv is forced to pivot back, but they're blocked off by the Rock Tomb. Now Potato has to sit on top of their goal zone, and they actually have a Flower Trick sitting over their head. Lunder now in trouble as they have to surf away. Rock Tomb can't quite catch them, and somehow this Reggie like he's still standing. Yeah, beautiful play there from the Meowth Karate Sereyu on the side of four free, but nice fights here. Potato still standing, still fighting right here. The support is back here in this top path on the side of Yala Bingo. Here comes Zante with a big time Unite move jumping into this fight. Reggie Alecki getting low. The flower trick is on it. The overheat could be ready. Are they going to be able to get the secure? Mew with the Solar Beam. Let's go. Oh my solar goodness. Beam Yala Bingo. Dude, I mean, Solar Beam through the light screen. Pinned back with the Rock Tomb just didn't matter because the range on the sun is infinite, my friend. It's definitely hitting Earth. And what's hitting Earth right now is the meteor that is Yala Bingo. Bingo snatching everything out from the hands of 4 free, saying we're taking that five-figure discount. Reggie Alecki right now needs to get taken down here by 4 free. They have to watch it because, of course, if they don't, Yala Bingo can run in here and just score massively. Yala Bingo knows this. They immediately turn on to Rayquaza. Gotlu coming in for a possible secure. Here's the own team, but no, it is Mew that is able to take that down. Yala Bingo turning that Reggie Alecki fight into a Bro. game win. Bro, 4 free looking like Gargamel right now. Yala Bingo Murfin on him. That is insane. Yalo Bingo reading for free like a book. And now it's time to get those burgers in. And everybody on Bingo's eating good. That's right, Yala Bingo just reining in those Hundo burgers here as they are gonna tie this series up. They must be feeling pretty good about this, and I have to assume if I'm for free, I'm taking away this Dodrio. It just feels like th they don't have an answer for it at all. Like I said, I mean, the recipe to success to beat Yala Bingo seems to be cut off Potato from his Pokemon. And right now, we know they've got two, Buzzwool and Dodrio for sure. So take those out of the equation and force Yala Bingo to adjust. The Garchomp, not even in the same stratosphere as these other two Pokemon right now. His Potato is level 15, gets X Scissor down, but that is just what it is. 669, nice, to 13. Yeah, huge, huge scoreline right here for Yala Bingo, the, tying this game up right now. For free and some trouble, and in the most exciting way possible, we have got it tied up.
in a bracket reset between these two titans of the EU region. Next game is your winner of the March Finals, and we're going to see what 4 Free wants to do about this here as we just have some fun on the goal zone right now. We're going to see how high we can get that score zone. Hey, 779, nicer. <laughs> yes, that is the other super nice number is even bigger, dude. Snacks, I'm sorry, but 79's a little bigger, buddy. <laughs> nice try, though. A little bigger. Nice try, That's my friend. 10 bread. more. That is one, two, three. I've got 10 fingers. Count them out. Make it happen, Sarah. You can't even get the courtesy burger in there at the end. Yala Bingo going crazy. Can't even get that courtesy burger. <laughs> you ever heard of the courtesy bird? No, I've heard of the courtesy. I mean, the reason I'm enjoying it so much is because everyone's heard of that courtesy burger. Well, have you heard of the dumb? through threshold line. Of course I've heard of the dumpster threshold. You know what? Enough of us. Let's send it on over to Zoinks and Wonder Chef to break this thing down. I don't think we could ever have enough of those two. That just feels like wrong to say. I'm so happy that they are in charge of casting this game because this match has been excellent so far. Very, very exciting, but honestly, landslide victories either direction. If a team is winning, they are winning hard in this series. Doob Snaz, Yala Bingo versus four free. Game number three of the bracket reset right here. It all comes down to this. Can four free make it two months in a row? Can Yala Bingo prove that they're actually the best in the region right now? We're gonna find out in 10 short minutes. The bands right now are Shifu, Leafeon, Buzzwool, and this final band from four free coming down to Umbreon. Finally targeting uh, Marv on the Umbreon, who's been able to get that uh, at the low, low cost yes. of nothing every single time. I love this for Yala Bingo. We talked about taking Potato off one of their premium Pokemon is going to be a concern, uh, but they're going to lock down Dodrio early. Yeah, Dodrio early. I mean, they're not even looking for the LD right there. They recognize how important this Pokemon is. I'm surprised Four Free doesn't want it. Obviously, they're deciding that there's something else that they could do right here. Yala Bingo having that first pick makes me feel like they needed to ban the bird, but we're gonna see if For Free actually has something up their sleeves right here, as Yala Bingo feels like they're getting just about everything they could possibly want right now. Internal still gets LD. Yeah, this is tough. Yeah, so they're gonna go Gatlu top. Of course, Chubb, gonna pick up Slowbro and try to go for that pointed target potato slow beam, right? Like, that's the that's the one thing. There's always the peacemaker nope. uh, in the... Oh, they switched to Snorlax. We're gonna have like a heavy slam, heavy slam uh, yawn maybe combination there. Is Lunder and... They got everything. I don't know. I don't know what to say right here. Like, I mean, Fort Free is an incredible team. They can obviously win this game. They have a strategy that they're playing into, but I mean, I'm just watching Zoinks shake his head and smile <laughs> off camera right now. I, I don't know, if I'm for free, I feel like we got drafted pretty hard right here. Well, Zoinks has a bunch of foresight. He was so shaken by the for free draft. That's actually why he called me Dupe Snass uh, to begin with. So I get it, I get it. I'm taking a look at this and I'm not sure they solved the mystery here. Yalo Bingo is, I, like I said, like if they could have just thrown darts at the board for all the Pokemon they want, this is what they would have drawn. Yeah, this feels that's great how you for Yala Bingo and for free right here. I mean, they have some powerful picks. Sereyu can absolutely go crazy on this Zorark if they are able to make it happen. They are not dealing with an Umbreon right now. So maybe the thing that they had in their back pocket this whole time was they know what Yala Bingo is going to pick. They know they're going to pick this Glaceon. They know they're going to have Mew. And of course, they're going to grab this Dodrio. But they've got a plan for it. And that plan is Zorark without an Umbreon on the other side. Uniquely, Yala Bingo is incredibly good into some of these speedsters with just naturally how they play, right? If it's not Umbreon, now they have Crustle. They still have the Electro Ball to track the Zorark on its retreat. Potato can mobility dip the Zorark there as well. And of course, you have Sixies uh, on the Icicle Spear, which we saw at work before. So, I mean, Yala Bingo, I don't think they're that afraid of the Zorark. They have the same tools in the kit that they had against Odrio, against Zorark. I think they're just kind of ready to go. One one thing is for sure, these two teams are incredible. They look to be the best that EU has to offer right now. And this is going to be an amazing game number three. This will answer who is going to win your March finals right now for the EU region. Yellow Bingo, your purple team for free, your orange team. Dodrio heading up to that top path right here, and that's gonna be a Pokemon that we have our eye on inside this match because they've been so incredibly dominant throughout this series so far. 
The big difference maker for me here is on four free and it's Zervis on the Hoopa. They are a phenomenal player. And if there's one person that can get this team out of a jam, we've seen it before, they can do it again. It's with Zervis's Hoopa. Yeah, we're gonna have to see what they're able to make happen here. They've been getting a lot of crustal today for Shelvin. Shelvin now having to pivot over to the Snorlax right here. You thought we maybe were gonna see the slow bro. That felt like a pretty good call for that slow beam, but it's not exactly what they wanted right here. Gatlu trying to push this back towards their side. Potato looks like they were able to get the secure there. Yeah, internal able to make it back to their side. I, I'm just interested if we're going to see block or if we're going to see like heavy slam yawn out of the Snorlax. Yeah, it is going to be interesting to see how they want to play this thing. I mean, heavy slam yawn is a great catch for, you know, Pokemon like Glaceon. It really shuts them down. And also, if you can hit Dodrio with that heavy slam right into that yawn, you've set it up. I mean, it might be a rotisserie bird right there as we're getting ready for this fight, pushing it back towards the other side. So, Ray, you're looking for a big Gale and they get it right there. Nice big combo. Right on top of Potato. Nice Astonish stun. Internal in 60s forced to scramble backwards. Their berries are already gone. Gatlu is level 5 and working towards level 6 here. That's not to be understated as the bottom path unsurprisingly going pretty well for Yala Bingo. Potato heading into the central area right here, trying to stop this Zorark from just destroying things. And you know, an early lead for this Zorark is very bad for the side of Yala Bingo, picking up another KO, and it looks like they're able to make it home as well. Yeah, I mean, this is all facilitated by Zervis being a menace, right? Leashing along into that central area. Just in case Sarayu gets in trouble, we got a portal to get you out, and I'll get, I'll get knocked out in lieu. Uh, but now, Zervis is kind of living rent-free in Yala Bingo's head. Yeah, Zervis just hanging out here in this central area, not able to make it home, but all the while for free getting ready for this fight here in the central area over these birds. Sarayu now level 7, really cleaning things up. And without that mean look Umbreon, it feels like they have not been able to shut it down that well. But of course, of course, all of these Pokemon still need to get online and get all of their moves. We're going to see what it looks like once all of these Pokemon are evolved. Yeah, internal is like, I would like to evolve with the rest of my team here. Give me Eldegoss so I actually have one of my moves that I pick up a level four. Now we're just secured another objective, objective, another wild Pokemon by Lunder here, unsurprisingly, because that's just what that Pokemon does. Now they're putting the pressure on 60s with full Icicle Spears. Can they target Sereyu? Not before they're blinked out of existence, and those Icicle Spears track all the way back. Sereyu at half HP, but now Potatoes on the backside, Gatlu gets KO'd, and that's more experience into the hands of Potato. But meanwhile, Lunder, quietly, one of the biggest things on the map. And look at Sarayu right here. I mean, just moving in, getting those big kills. Huge Unite move from Sante, pushing forward right here for free. If they had a strategy, it looks like it is working right now, Doob Snacks, in all of these fights. In Turtle, not able to knock them up. They are all able to reset and head home. 32 points here from Yala Bingo, but it looks like, you know, 4-3 is in the driver's seat right here. Yeah, they already have a Blastoise, of course. They have the Espeon, which has been great. Nice secure out of internal to make a little magic happen for Yala Bingo here. As they're four players up, uh, Sarayu comes right back through the portal, using an illusion to try escape, but they stepped into the landmine that is Lundaru as they get that KO. Internal gonna get taken out here. The portal is up, but still Yala Bingo scrapping in front of him, quickly going on top of Zervis. Zervis low HP, heavy slam to cut off that push, and now Reggie Alecki's just waiting on the door step to see if anybody's going to pick up the order of Uber Eats. What a scary moment there from 4-3. I mean, that Reggie Alecki almost walked multiple times. Really nice drill peck trying to pull a member uh, a four free away from the goal zone, but they were able to stop it right here. Sereyu in the bottom path, level nine right now, ready to use the Unite move as they are looking to dive in on this enemy team right here. If they see that Glaceon and they're able to get a real juicy KO, this could be big for four free. Hydro Typhoon gonna kick up Marv. Registeel is getting low, 60s looking for their opportunity. Zark Unite is out, taking the Registeel is the Blastoise. Moving forward here, Zervis eating all those Icicle Spears, but no real damage done. 56 to zero, still Sereyu's looking for opportunity. And I think maybe the light screen even kind of cut them off from that combo. Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of things that can shut down Zorark comboing, right? It's why it's such a high skill Pokemon, and you really need a team around it to make sure it works. And of course, on the other side, you want a lot of things that don't shut it down super well. They saw that there was no Umbreon because they banned it, and now they are able to play it here. It looks so much better than we saw earlier, and there's that heavy slam yawn that we talked about earlier. Forcing out the Cotton Cloud crash from internal because Potato just got a little too ahead of their skis there, and 
and they almost ended up tumbling down the mountain. Chelvin still playing very well, and it is heavy slam yawn, specifically, like you said, to be able to catch maybe the, the Glaceon, maybe Lundaroo on the Mew, and if you get a potato out of that, you are feeling good as well. Internal going down. Yeah, Internal going down right there. Nice team effort. We had Gotlu using an eject button to push them back with that hydro pump inside the rapid spin right there. Zante using Unite move, but not getting any value from it there in that moment. Just making sure that Dodrio wasn't diving, probably hopefully trying to catch it on its way out of that situation. Sixties charging up those icicle spears now. We're over halfway done. You're going to know your champion here very, very soon as these two teams are incredibly close this match. Nice little cotton ball from internal to suss out Sarayu, and now they have to force to retreat, so they couldn't quite uh, engage with the other team. Blinking out of existence and right back into the fray, of course, from the Hoopa is the three members of Four Free, and now Sixties is looking for an opportunity to charge up more icicles. That's why it's so tough to fight against Glaceon in this area, because they've got a free target to charge for free. Gotlu is not going to take this portal. Yes, they are. Yala Bingo biding their time. Four Free moving in your huge Unite move from Zerba. They go down, though. The Zorark taken down, Reggie Alecki getting very low. Big Unite move from the Blast, so secured there by Zante. The Espeon as they continue to push forward right here. Reggie Alecki is able to walk in. Dodrio coming back up, but it's too little too late. Now the Snorlax is just gonna be able to put some points in, do some pretty good math right here. And it looks like stack up, they must be running a Aos cookie on the Snorlax. I did not save. Yeah, they're trying to, to get that goal zone closed with maximum efficiency and value. They are able to do that now, taking a rocketing score lead here, 115 to 84. Here we go, heading down to this bottom path right here. Reggie Steele getting ripped apart. Now that I'm realizing, and I think it wasn't stacking, I think they were looking to charge up their Unite move on Snorlax, which they do have right now. Reggie Steele almost done right here. Zante looking for a possible secure. Mew takes it down with the Solar Beam. The Icicle Spears trying to follow Zante home. Gotlu taking so much damage, pushing them back here with the Hydro Pump. And here comes the Zorark ripping them apart. What a trap, leashing oh, along with Gatlu so Sarayu can get into all of these players getting two KOs before they are knocked out themselves by the support player for Yala Bingo internal. Putting the portal down, Marv throwing a rock tomb, but it's not going to find any value. Meanwhile, Shelvin scoring up top. Two minutes, 30 seconds on the clock. Ray will be here in under 30 seconds right now. Four free is up 138 to 84. We need to get some Unite moves charged in the way of the Zorark right here. And the Hoopa as they head up to the top path three. A perfect setup right here for this Zorark to make sure that it has a Unite move. Nice little combo right there. It will surely have it very, very soon for this fight. That means we have Unite moves on every single Pokemon right now, except for Zorark, as we get ready for the last two minutes here in the March Cup for the EU region. Lunder shelling in some damage with these Solar Beams. Quickly taking a ride back our two members for four free, but we're biding time. Who's gonna be the first one to engage? Tier one goal zones on both sides for these teams. Yeah, and here we go. We can see they're kind of dancing around each other, trying to find a good pick in some of these moments, maybe catch someone with a rock tomb. We have Shelvin jumping on over so that they can heal up through this hyperspace hole. We have the Zorark watching in this top path. Sarayu looking for Potato right here. Obviously, these are two power players for both of these sides right now. A good or bad play from these Pokemon could be the deciding factor. Shelvin taking a lot of damage right here, but nothing too bad happening. They're going to be able to reset through this portal. As we see Yala Bingo just charge up those icicle spears they are behind dupe snacks so yala bingo needs to make the play here minute 10 on the clock snorlax jumping in and misses Pet misses but oh gets the yarn on dodrio now all of a sudden potato has to reel back icicle spears are coming in but it forces out the unite move Shelvin can't reset the portal was there for them but they're already in the unite move rolling over now cat lose at half hp on the backside they're caught in the wrong tomb but we have the zorark unite takes out the glacian immediately internal chest cotton cloud crash to save potato and they do but now the stuns are out the rings are unbound they're moving back potato has to retreat and reset Set. Downstairs, we've got Marv. They have to get back as well. They have no HP, but that leads Sarayu there to cut two players from Yala Bingo down. Meanwhile, though, who else but Lunder? Never on the screen, but always doing work. Two players down for four free. Here we go. Four free is ahead right now. Yala Bingo needs to score. They do have points on the side of this Dodrio as they're heading up to this top path right now, trying to make something Ooh, happen. They get, the they get a huge KO. They're jumping on this goal, but they're not able to score. Service trying to stop it right here. Dodrio could make this happen. Crestle, if they stand on it. Yes, they do score. One 
116, 150 now to 138, 184 to 138 with only 10 seconds left. I don't think Four Free can do anything about this scoreline right here wow. with the team getting together with the three-headed bird with three different hats. Yala Bingo are going to be your winners here for the March finals. Yala Bingo getting it done and what a calculated final fight by them. Like I said, Potato never overextending, didn't get caught there, was able to pivot back, forcing four free to scramble a little bit. And yes, we watched the fight break down. Suryu popped off, everybody was low on HP, caught a reset, and silently, Lunder, working on the bottom side of the map, gets two KOs, and that just meant scoring go time in the top path, and they get it done. Amazing stuff here. Dodrio, Dodrio, Dodrio. It was all about Dodrio in this Groundhogs day, but different. We're going to send it back on over to Zoinks and Wonder Chef. Gentlemen, what a game. What a finale to EU. Yala Bingo, new champions of the EU region, obviously, our March Cup victors. And wow, yes, the Dodrio, the Mew, the two headed dragon of Yala Bingo. The, the, well, it's four heads, if technically, if we're considering Dodrio, but wow, what a grand finals. I mean, this entire set, pre reset and post reset, absolutely amazing.